Hey everybody, welcome to Cards and Sharps. How y'all doing? Good, glad to hear it. Glad you guys dropped by to take a look at a knife with me. We have one here, kind of a kind of a nice looking little box. Uh, CH Knives. You may have heard of these, you may not. Uh, it's kind of a little bit of a mysterious uh, knife, um, like so many other knives these days, it's a Chinese product. Um, this one is the Toucans, if you can see that on there, it says that on the blade, so that, we'll believe it. Um, it is a pretty robust sized knife, and there's real, there's no, uh, literature that comes with it and really it's hard to find any specs or anything like that on these knives uh, online anywhere other than just kind of general uh, information um, so I don't know a lot about it other than what I see I got this one through uh, my wholesale distributor that they they do carry the full line of uh, CH knives and I had seen some videos about these and you know some good some bad uh, as far as uh, thoughts of the knife not really a lot of uh, negative as far as designing and quality just uh, there were some questions, and we'll get into that here in a little bit. First, let's just kind of talk about what we do know about the knife. Again, it's uh, made by a company called CH, or that is the branding. And the style or model is the Toucans. And it's a liner lock, sheep's foot, uh, style blade, not a, <clears throat> not a real extreme sheep's foot. Um, so it looks a little more uh, conventional compared to some sheep's foot knives. And on the blade it is stamped D2, um, which D2 is a pretty decent uh, steel for a mid-range, the uh, mid-lower range uh, knife. Uh, so, so far not a lot uh, to say that we don't like if as long as uh, everything is true I mean uh, you, you know have no way of knowing on Chinese product when they say D2 if they mean it or not um, I've seen enough D2 and and everything and been around enough tools still to kind of be able to spot uh, something that that would be really cheap in it and it feels and and looks like D2 I guess uh, using it and and sharpen it and all that might get a better clue on uh, the quality of the D2 it is alright stats uh, like I wasn't able to find any stats on it so we'll go we'll use the grid here to to get a look so we're coming in at just a hair over eight inches nearly eight and a quarter inches uh, open overall that blade is a total of uh, looks like four inches from uh, tip to the base and you get about three and a half inches of uh, cutting surface with this little uh, chul area here but be a good uh, sharpening chul and a little bit for the finger it's not real deep so um, if you do use that as a finger tool you're going to be careful and not put a lot of pressure on there because you could look like you could slide up that blade uh, if it and you know if you uh, lose your grip at all uh, otherwise uh, so that makes the handle comes in at oh just over about a you're looking at, well, gripping surface, you're looking at about four and a quarter inches. So, 
uh, fits my hand perfectly from uh, where it breaks up here and then right there fits my hand fits right in there it's got some nice jumping on the back not sharp or overly aggressive but it does give you a, a nice grip the scales feel like uh, maybe G10 but uh, could be just a FRN material it's kind of hard telling that that color sometimes blue makes it look a little uh, a little less uh, of that matte G10 look the finishing and the the work around it is nice there's nowhere that uh, there's no fit problems at all no sharp edges anywhere if I mean just on the surface it looks like a, a well-made uh, knife now I do know that on some reviews some folks like it think it's a it, it appears to be a a high-end knife that you can get in the uh, mid-range price range this one uh, sells for $80 uh, and on the surface uh, materials uh, workmanship operation fit and finish it, it feels like an $80 knife or or even even better um, has really good action you can I can tell you can tell by the feel it has uh, ball bearings uh, you're pushing a pretty good chunk of steel there in it and it flips open no problem at all it's got a uh, liner lock that locks up a uh, good 50 percent and blade centering is dead on perfect uh, before we get into some other things let's go ahead and check out some of the other stats we got uh, pretty looks like pretty hefty blade stock here and it is it's 0.159 so that's a nice hefty uh, blade and then it has a pretty good taper down to fairly gets fairly thin at the edge uh, the handle width is coming in at 0.578 so it's a little over a half inch thick so it's a uh, it's a very robust uh, knife let's uh, put it on the scale here see what it weighs it feels like about five six ounces that is 6.11 so that is a it is a heavy knife that is a it really though the weight of it doesn't feel that bad considering because it's balanced uh, well with the the way the you know it's a pretty robust frame in there and you, you're and it balances out that stout blade very nicely so it doesn't feel overly heavy in the hand feels uh, feels like a, a be a good knife uh, just to, to get out take out in the woods and work with doesn't <clears throat> though it, it you know the look doesn't look uh, that color blue kind of makes it look a little more uh, uh, bright and cheery where it, 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 it but it, the feel and, and style says this knife wants to work uh, I think you could take it out and you could I mean it, you feel like you could chop wood with that thing uh, you, I, you know that nice thick blade stock there on the back you could easily baton wood with that and I don't think you were gonna have any problems at all and it's a very robust very robust knife very appears to be well made and the quality seems to be all there now just to touch on some of the things like I said some reviewers have felt that it it looks like a a good quality product coming in at a at a good value price and I know many of you if anybody watches knife videos watches uh, Nick Shabazz I do and I enjoy his videos don't always agree with his take uh, 
but I do under I think he's honest and 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 his concerns are real about this knife. Uh, he showed a concern that they're only the if where they're available from. Um, if online, uh, it's some less than reputable uh, online sellers uh, who sell counterfeits and all that. And it looks appears CH probably copies uh, some designs, but they do not try to pass them off as the. Uh, yeah, that so they're not counterfeit they're just uh, copied well uh, how many knives are all that original uh, anymore I mean with all the designs and everything pretty much everybody is copying somebody something so I don't hold that against a company uh, as long as they're not trying to pass it off as a uh, as a real thing say you know you you get a Delica you want it by Spyderco you don't want somebody making a fake Delica and and it not being uh, the actual thing uh, if I'm sure this is copying something um, because it looks familiar I mean there's a lot of these uh, modified sheep foot knives out there uh, and as far as other features I'm, I'm you know it's not right off the top of my head coming to me what this one looks exactly like but I'm sure it, it is a sort of a, a copy of somebody else's work but um, it could be that you know they have a American designer or whoever designing it for them too just not a lot of information about the company and that that would part is what uh, is curious to me now, as far as uh, the places that uh, sell them online, uh, if, if that company is known for selling counterfeit product, I wouldn't trade with them uh, regardless of, of what I thought of it. I would look for it at another source. Like I said, I get these from uh, my knife, a reputable knife wholesaler. And... Uh, So I have no issues with that. I'm sure if I pulled it out of the box and it was falling apart on me, I have no issue with them. Uh, they would have uh, made good on it. Uh, so it comes down to who you'd buy it from. Um, this is the only one I've ever gotten in. Uh, you know, I don't know that I'll get more, but I will probably sell this one. And uh, everything I sell. I pull out the box, try it out, look at it, uh, make sure everything's fine, works good. Many of those, many of them will get reviewed on here as well, so you can see, uh, the, you know, what I see. Uh, you know, I, some of the other concerns brought up were that, yeah, this might be a good example, but with a company that you don't know that much about, do they use the same materials? Uh, six months from now is this one so if somebody sees this one and it looks really good everything works great uh, you buy one six months from now will it have the same materials will it be it's the same quality uh, that I don't know you know that that is a good point um, and that would be a point for not uh, spending a lot of money on a knife like that Whereas with Ganzo, Sinran Mu, uh, some of those companies uh, that make, those are lower end budget knives. This is not, this is definitely you, in the look and feel and quality. You can tell, you see the difference between this and a Ganzo. Uh, and, you know, it looks like Civivi, Best Tech, range of quality, and the price point. Uh, says that's where they put it. Um, you know, maybe they're keeping the price down by not spending a lot of money on advertisement and fancy websites and and all that. But I would think I don't. I don't I, it's curious how they they plan to market it if they're not putting out a lot of information on the specs and and that sort of thing. So um, it, it's a very curious knife. Don't know that I'll. 
get more of these in. I just wanted to try it. I had this is something that had caught my attention on a on some couple of videos. I had seen it in the the product uh, lineup from a wholesaler. I have never seen one of these in a shop store or anywhere like that. So I was curious. I thought, well, you know, I'd bring one in, have a look. Uh, after seeing the videos, I wanted a first-hand look and and uh, I, and thought for myself on, on what I thought of it. Um, would I recommend it? I'm not going to recommend or, or not recommend. I'm, I'm just going to say there there it is, and that's my take on it. Um, you know, I think with anything you buy, you know, you got to consider uh, the cost versus uh, concerns. And if you uh, have concerns with the, you know, durability and, and things like that, I would recommend not uh, taking a chance on it. Uh, I will, my guess is I will put this one up for sale. If it doesn't sell, I don't have no qualms with keeping it. Uh, or if anybody, you know, has concerns or anything like that, and I feel like, you know, uh, they're concerned with it, uh, I have no problem keeping it. And who knows, uh, if I end up keeping it, I'll, I'll, I'll use it and, and do a follow-up with it. Uh, and that might be a good idea anyway, just to... Hold on to it, use it, and come back and do a follow-up, say, six months from now, how good is this knife or, or whatever. And, and maybe that would give everybody a little better idea of, uh, of whether it's a, a value or not. Let's just, uh, with all that said, we'll do quickly. I, I like to compare, like everybody else, like to compare with other knives. So... Size-wise, it's very uh, going to be very uh, comparable to the Rat One, and just uh, up against uh, other knives I show a lot and carry is um, the Bug Out. Quite a bit bigger than the Bug Out. It's a lot heavier than the Bug Out at that too. And it's it's actually in the, the Rat One's not a light knife, but it's definitely heavier than the the Rat One. But as you can see, it's a lot more. A lot more blade material there, um, and I mean it, it. It it's overall a lot more. Uh, the frame's thicker, the scales are thicker, the blade stock is thicker. It, it's a uh, so you're getting more a lot more material than you do with the, the rat. And uh, rat we know is a good knife for the price, especially for the price point, and. Uh, everything so there you have it that is uh, the CH two cans uh, I would love to hear from you guys uh, you know have you tried this knife uh, the good bad junk uh, held up I'd really like to, to have your comments do you like the styling uh, if it looks exactly like a something else let me know uh, like I said it's, it it does look very familiar, but I, off the top of my head, I'm not thinking of the exact model or, or brand that it, it, it appears to copy. But I would like to know uh, if anybody's had these, tried them out, and how they how durable and and things they are. Uh, that has been my with the some of the the really low budget knives uh, with the. I know with Ganzo, uh, one knife may be really good. The next knife uh, needs adjustment to work right, and might be all you know. The consistency is off on those, and and we know where to find Ganzo dealers, and Ganzo has a website and all that. So all that doesn't make it better. Uh, you know, having all that stuff. I mean, uh, look at. Uh, in my mind, Gerber. I mean, Gerber's a people buy Gerber for the name, and 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 I, I find Gerber execution of their design as being pretty pretty poor, and uh, have been disappointed with 
pretty much every Gerber product I've, um, as far as knives. Now, uh, multi-tools, I haven't looked at any of the recent stuff, but I have some old ones that, that work fine and, and were built great. But as far as your knife products, um, very disappointed in it. And then you got Smith & Wesson and um, Ruger and and uh, Hogue and, and places like that that put their name on some pretty uh, sketchy products as well. So, I mean, knowing a lot about the company name does not necessarily make it a better product. So that is my take and two cents worth on that. Uh, like I said, love to hear from you guys. If, uh, if you find this video at all helpful, hit the like and subscribe, and we will be looking at more stuff down the road. See you guys next time.